Good morning my dear friends Today I shall discuss remaining few of our queries and for me all these day to day works related aspect to geotechnical and foundation mostly you can say it a construction engineering earlier there are some different topic i have discussed today i shall discuss some basic aspects of geotechnical and foundation engineering i have received lot of question from storage to some uh, storage to empirical relationship sbc settlement lot of questions and did the storage of organic soil sample in case of rock mechanics there are specific standard american standard british standard iostm standard indian standard had suggested some def definite storage of sample box that is in case of rock it is core box which is generally made up in india it is made up wooden plank or plywood board so that temperature cannot be transmitted to the inside core samples but there is no such specific standard for storage of soil samples normally what i did say in my early early life i was working as a assistant of dr a m dr choudhry he was pioneer of geotechnical engineering in those days it, it is term as soil mechanics and later on it is soil mechanics and foundation engineering later on it is geotechnical engineering present day it is geotechnical engineering the basic purpose of storage is to maintain the in situ moisture content because is if moisture is decreased then the uh, soil interior or related parameters like strength density bond index etc will be changes which are directly related to consistency also the consistency has a lim- has a empirical relationship with liquid limit if in situ soil moisture at plastic limit that is soil is hard in situ moisture content if it is at sinkage limit soil is 
extremely hard <coughs> beyond that soil cannot be more hard and in case of in situ moisture content equal to liquid limit the soil is soft so these are directly related with strength parameters so our basic purpose is to retain the in situ moisture content as far as possible it should be intact without changing of moisture content is our basic aim for this purpose what we are normally <coughs> normally doing at site or at laboratory it said during collection we are making some underground pit excavating some amount of soil to place the some samplers there and buried it so we are keeping at site underground and while you are transporting normally we used thermocol box those were normally used for transportation of fish and fish and some other uh, fish meat like these things we are using using thermocol box wrapping the <coughs> wrapping the uh, samples with moist jute bag moist jute bag normally to, uh, in earlier days jute bags are available in for cement rice dal and everything now these are almost gradually switch over to plastic or nylon this type of material bags are used so jute bag or jute sheets are available in market just um, moist that uh, jute sheets wrap the sample and put in a thermos thermocool box the sizes of that should be this much and this is this is one thermocool box this is normally these are coming in ready made shape and this is extra sheet which shall be tapped using a cello tap this can be bonded so this it should be size shall be 50 mm thick thermocool sheets these are ready made bags for uh, fish normally they, these are used for transportation of fish and first we have this box shall be at least uh, 100 mm larger than the our sampler length say sampler length is if it is 500 mm then box shall be 600 mm because during wrapping of jute sheets or jute bag to moist jute bag or jute, jute sheets we need some amount of coverage the so 50 mm uh, during wrapping we require 50 mm extra then we sh- we should seal it seal means we should put uh, put this top sheet of thermocol top sheet and using a cello tap we should close it and sell it <coughs> so no uh, sunsees of evaporation of moisture from the soil sampler is minimized <coughs> <coughs> but under any circumstances 
after taking out the sample from a drift from the borehole once it is taken out from the in situ condition it is already disturbed there is very less chances of returning to original state already it is disturbed at least 5% disturbance is there for a sandy soil disturbing shall be more but the clay soil sample disturbance expected to be around 5% so 95% accuracy is there and when when we will be storing at laboratory the temperature room temperature shall not be more than 27 degree it is 25 to 27 degree it should not be less than 25 degree because it will be if we go for uh, 15 degree then there are senses of senses of change of in situ moisture content which is also a harmful so we we should try to maintain the 25 to 27 degree centigrade and basic important thing is the all the test shall be completed within 15 days from the date of collection any amount of precaution we are taking we cannot prevent the natural damages humidity is there, temperature is there a lot of things are involved in this situation so uh, normally general soil it should be uh, all tests shall be completed within 15 days from the date of collection at site and for organic soil where organic means where a lot of humans humus materials are there organic chemicals are there so those soil should be uh, more urgently testing shall be more urgently completed probably five within ten five ten days then we will be able to get accurate information i hope it is simple method we can take care of organic so not only organic soil samples for all soil samples we should take care of this another question is Best method of geotechnical investigation in sand gravel stratum. Sand gravel stratum normally, normally some people if it is gravel sizes or gravels are uh, very smaller in size than bentonite mud boring also feasible but basic problem is in gravel gravel sand gravel deposit which is gw gw zp this type of this type of deposit Undisturbed sample sample collection is really difficult. Uh, another problem is during during drilling during drilling when we will be stopping for another field test, say and value SPT test. For that break, sedimentation, sedimentation 
at the bottom of the hole is quite high sometime sometime if we do not properly use much circulation and if we not maintain the water level up to the top of the casing pipe or up to the ground level there are chances of sedimentation of cut spoil cutting spoil because gravels are very rapidly sedimentation will be due in a few second within a few second say 30 meter sedimentation if required at the depth sedimentation required at a depth of 30 meter below ground level it will be requiring hardly few second 5 6 second all the gravel will be settled down so this this shall not give us proper information about the stratum and the about the other information like denseness and strength characteristics and value we will be not able to get these things what i personally feel if we go for rotary boring using triple tube barrel with a bottom discharge core bit under bentonite mud water circulation we can get the entire formation in the triple tube itself and later on when we will be splitting the triple tube those who are using triple tube they will be knowing that the triple tube means it is made of three tubes two inner tubes and one one outer tubes first outer tube and second outer tube second outer tube pre prevent the water circulation inside the soil and the, the inner last inner tube it is split split type it is made of two parts which is fitted in uh, core bit and inside the barrel and when we use the bottom discharge bit then water will be going to the edge of the bottom edge of the barrel which with the help of that bottom discharge bit then automatically we shall be getting thorough profile say we are using 2 meter drilling 2 meter drilling and after due, due to much circulation the whole shall not collapse whole shall not collapse we, uh, we can take out the sample complete barrel we can take out and we and another barrel we can put inside and drilling operation started started by that time we can find out the soil core gravel sand gravel sand with little amount of pines may be there everything will be coming intact Everything means not 100 percent, it will be 90 to 95 percent will be coming out. So from that sample we can take the soil moisture at site itself. Nowadays it is very easy, there are a lot of development in geotechnical engineering instrumentation. Electronic moisture meter is there. 
ਕਰਬਾਈ ਟਾਈਪ ਮੱਛਰ ਮਿਟਾਰੀ ਜਾ ਮੈਨੀ ਈਜੀ ਮੱਛਰ ਮਿਟਾਰੀ ਜਾ ਅਵੇਲੇਬਲ ਨਾਉ ਐਟ ਦਿਸ ਵਨ ਮੱਛਰ ਮਿਟਾਰੀ ਜਾ ਅਵੇਲੇਬਲ ਜਸਟ ਟੂ ਪੀਨ ਆਰ ਦੇਅ ਟੂ ਪਿੰਸ ਆਰ ਦੇਅ ਜਸਟ ਟੂ ਪਿੰਸ ਟਚ ਦਿ ਸੈਂਪਲ ਇਟ ਵਿਲ ਗਿਵ ਦਿ ਰੀਡਿੰਗ ਹੁਇਸ ਇਸ ਆਲਮੋਸਟ 95% ਐਕਿਊਰੇਸੀ so it is best method of geotechnical investigation in sand gravel stratum using triple tube drilling with bottom discharge core core bit under bentonite mud water circulation i hope you will understand about the formation that is normally what happen this will be the gw or gp or gc gc everywhere gc is not there but some cases gc also there in such cases case in gc soil in normal uh, in investigation we will be not ge- getting the clay particles which has added naturally as a cementing materials which is giving giving some adhesive forces also there that formation may be behaving like mud concreting however we are not getting by normal drilling process so it is more preferable to go for rotary drilling using triple tube core barrel now another question i want to i want to present my opinion i am not giving you a lecture but i am presenting my opinion based on my experience and what i by heart feel that means yourself and myself together we are interchanging our feelings and experiences for so that i can learn something to from you and if possible you may also learn something from me the granular formation in granular formation whether it is sandy soil or sand gravel mixtures whatever it may be in granular soil which is c0 soil undisturbed sample is very rarely possible i am not saying that it is not at all possible it is very rarely possible but uh, at the same time we see for our construction purposes except academic interest or research interest for our construction purposes the in the name of collection of, a, of an undisturbed sample we how much we can expand we, our expense limitation also there we cannot lavishly ex- made any expense in the name of a collection of a sample which has finally difference is 5% to 10%. So in such cases if we know the soil moisture say undisturbed sample we are not able to take undisturbed soil samples in a granular deposit that is C0 soil we shall be going for alternatively for this uh spt test 
we can go for SPT test with the SPT numbers, SPT values. We can also calculate the FAP. When granular soil C is zero, so then we can get the phi value from the N value itself. Or alternatively, yes, you can conduct direct shear test subject to you have to ascertain the soil moisture, in situ soil moisture at the site itself. Using a lot of devices, there are uh, very cheap instrument is carbide type and little costly instrument is the electronic in moisture meter which are mm, available in India. So, after determining the soil moisture, we do not know the density of the soil. So, we shall be, we shall be compacted that soil with that moisture up to a maximum limit because since millions of years together the overburden is acting as a surcharge and that soil is free draining material that means the granular soil is free draining material all water poor water will be drained out due to load underwater condition and as such if we compact it up to a extreme point that we can get the density of that soil and then when we get the density of the soil we know the um, moisture we can remove it go for direct shear test but you see direct shear by from direct shear values is around 95 percent accurate if we conduct in this way at actual moisture after remolding it then we shall get 95 percent accuracy in direct shear test conducted adopting the same soil moisture and density there are chances of getting 90 percent to 95 percent accuracy. However, with due respect to Krasagandhi, I believe direct shear test is itself a disturbed method. I do not say even if you were getting the cutting sample same size cutting sample if you are getting yes, uh, direct share one direct share box is uh, one direct share was uh, machine for some time it was used in advanced country it was used in, in circular circular shape but uh, it was not so much popular. So again, they back to original square box type direct share. And later on, direct share box sizes increases, say five, uh, 5 kg to 10 kg. Earlier it was in uh, 200 grams of samples now it has been increased to 5 kg 10 kg like that so that so that more the soil error shall be less concept is more the amount of soil error shall be less yes the errors shall be minimizing if we more sample if we use Direct share sam sample, direct share sample when we, the test itself a disturbed test. 
lot of disturbance you see uh, when we put the test specimen in box then during initial normal pressure sandy such granular soil is such a material in slight loading it drain out the soil water so so my humble suggestion is the derivatives of direct share test results shall necessarily be kept compared with the derivatives of n value from n value also we are getting the phi value from direct share also we are getting the phi value and finally we have to select uh, uh, which is close one we may go for average or more we may go for if it is average is much deeper than the individual values then we should go for selected selected value for our practical applications it will be better I, normally i prefer to say it will be better uh, direct share conducting direct share test and from n value test we shall be getting five value and from that we can select one value another another question is cone penetration test versus geophysical investigation in gravel boulder bed for me it is very difficult to make specific comment on it both test give us relative density in cone penetration test also we are getting relative density the strength we have calculated from the cone penetration test is whether it is static or it is dynamic cone whether you are using cone penetration and geophysical investigation both are in give information as about the relative density because strength is what is the strength more the relatively dense then strength will be more in some cases what happen the the cone cone if it is the point, point of the cone is placed on gravel big gravel or little bigger cobbles i am not mentioning boulders one bigger cobbles say 6 inches one cobble then what happen it will be unless and until the cobble uh, or boulder not breaking down it will give you strength but practically as a big portion you are take select and it if it is possible by excavating if you are going to conduct a plate load test you will be not able to get that much of strength which your cone penetration is giving the strength information on the other hand gpi geophysical investigation has another problem is the curve coming out from the data nowadays all the GP, all the instrument geophysical instrument is giving ready made curve depth wise ready made curve is giving out and in same formation the curves above water level and below water level are totally different 
and and gravel gravel boulder deposit underwater condition behaves like fractured and fissured rock as a hard rock as a hard rock fractures and fissures hard rock the it is very interesting is interpretation is based on expertise in interp- expertise interpretation only sometime gravel boulder deposit behaves like jointed and fractured rock mass we should not forget that in gravel boulder bed generally contain sand or fine stone but it never been detected in any test of above this cone penetration or or this uh, geophysical investigation so what in my case what i was doing say there will be a, there will be a few foundation in some river in say arunachal pradesh dibang river there were there were was uh, in a one project there are 22 foundations covering entire entire with of the river 22 foundations uh, total about f- uh, 4.4.4.2 km or like that including some uh, bank also the formation is above 2-3 uh, meter above 2-3 meter it is a mix up soil sand seal and small gravels after 2-3 meters it is a gravel uh, gravel cobble boulders gravel sir there are little amount of sand is there coarse sand is there little amount of cobble sir there are boulders also there so in such cases what i did i cannot go for i cannot go for uh, costly proposition so out of that 20 i suggested my client client was a go- government of india enterprise so i suggested my client the at least two holes i shall be one at bank one at mid stream i shall be conducting two holes <coughs> two holes up to the required depth using triple tube method i as discussed in earlier in b and rest i shall be i shall be calculating on the basis of geophysical investigation data and i shall be calculated accordingly they agreed and my uh, work system is very good having very good output less investment and maximum gain so i suggest you my humble submission is at least in such cases at least one drill hole is necessary as i dis- discussed earlier uh, using triple tube barrel triple tube b- bottom this triple tube barrel with bottom discharge core bit then you will get the formations small sense sense content also we will be getting and uh, as as in situ condition we can open the inner tube then we can see there somewhere it is gravel is say 6 inch gravel is there continuously with some sand 
in between and somewhere sand is, sand is very less just more gravel is there so it is very easy for actual determination and we should not forget that one thing maximum five value of sand is maximum five value of dense sand is 45 not more than 45 no no soil formation can give you five value more than 45 we are not getting more than 45 because 45 complete round all all grains are full round in shape of and same sizes which is not necessarily available when angular shape five value will be 44 44 not more than that but in earlier concept was angular angular shape sand gives more but for is small size for sand but in gravel or boulder they this size is not uh, angular or round or sub rounded this size is not as responsible maximum maximum permissible value will be five value will be 45 degree so in case of 45 yes we should get 45 if we adopt 43 for 2% our total difference for 2% our total difference is in foundation cost will be per degree 18% difference is there but for 18% difference we cannot waste or we cannot give lot of times one hole required one hole in gravel boulder is 50 meter drilling one hole is required it is a, it is about 2 meter okay 2 months so for 22 holes how how much time i can give so i have done it and it is very what mentioning works and another thing another thing what happened D- due to size say 300 mm boulders and 100 mm cobbles and uh, 2 mm sand for this for this practical differences five value shall not change five value is governing by the relative density only so more the dense more the five value whether it is sand whether it is gravel whether it is cobble whether it is boulder it is same so i suggest this only and say out of 22 two two balls go for complete geophysical 20 uh, balls go for geophysical investigation and two for uh, drilling with uh, with this uh, triple tube barrel and cone penetration does not give you any correct information regarding the gravel boulder bed for small for 100 mm 100 mm boulder unless and until the boulder is break down it will give strength and strength so it is no purpose at all another question what type of foundation is best for clay soil in earlier one video in one video i said 
we are not sure about whether the soil is responsible for behavior of the foundations and foundation is responsible for the behavior of the soil because these are in different issue say shape factor depth factor this lot of factors are there no uh, something is uh, governed by foundation size something is governed by uh, soil conditions so these are uh, separate issue this question is uh, what type of foundation is best for clay soil in a word any type of foundation system is suitable for clay soil any type of. because our foundation systems are are based on loading pattern and soil behavior and other some related related parameters is there say uh, water level fluctuation of water level where is the stable water level how much excavation we, sh we can go for these are different issue factor but simply there is no diff uh, no definite that this soil is good for this type of foundation no all soils are best for all foundation system whether it is pile foundation whether it is open foundation whether it is rap foundation whether it is continuous foundation whether it is pile foundation any soil but the problems during execution may be different say for a clay foundation clay soil during execution say for instance the excavation or for a pile pile installation the site collapse or other aspects is less whereas in sandy soil site collapse will be more while instability will be more but at the same time we shall be getting much higher load one is problem is there but benefit is there in clay soil we can go for vertical open cut excavation in sandy soil we cannot go for open cut excavation vertically vertical open cut excavation we cannot go it should be at it one in two slopes and there will be some amount of problem of if we are going for underwater construction there may be some amount of problems but other other on the opposite hand in sandy soil if we tackle tackle that problems we shall be our foundation size shall be smaller these are these are different angle to there are different problems for c5 soils c0 soil and f0 soil and underwater uh, uh, condition is different above water condition is different these are problems these are problems we have to fight with all those problems during execution depending upon the shear strength of the soil stratum foundation may be as per site requirement and loading pattern however single foundation is more suitable under one structure in case of say 50% raft 50% strap foundation behavior of this to this different foundation 50% raft and 50% raft shall behave separately 
एंड स्ट्रीप सेल बिहेव सेपरेटली वी सेल प्रोवाइड सिंगल टाइप ऑफ फाउंडेशन सिस्टम अंडर वन स्ट्रक्चर सो दैट इट कैन बिहेव इन सेम डायरेक्शन सेम नेचर सो वी शुड नॉट प्रोवाइड यस वी कैन प्रोवाइड मल्टीपल फाउंडेशन मल्टीपल फाउंडेशन कंपोजिट फाउंडेशन एंड मल्टीपल फाउंडेशन दिज आर डिफरेंट इशू कंपोजिट फाउंडेशन इज से रेफ्ट प्लस पाइल इट इज कंपोजिट फाउंडेशन वेल पाइल रॉक एंकोरिंग दिस इज मल्टीपल फाउंडेशन इन सम केसेज वी आर गो फॉर प्रोग्रेसिव प्रोग्रेसिव फाउंडेशन प्रोग्रेसिव फाउंडेशन इज दे प्रोग्रेसिव फाउंडेशन इज वी आर गोइंग बिलो गोइंग मच बिलो देन आवर रिक्वायरमेंट एंड आफ्टर सम टाइम वी रिड्यूज द साइज डीज आर डीज आर नेसेसरी वेन टेंशन लोड इज मच मोर टू रेजिज द टेंशन लोड we are lower portion is we are providing bigger size that the weight of the soil around the foundation shall be much higher uh, perhaps you people heard the name of franky pile in franky pile what happened the lower portion is lower portion is larger lower portion is larger this not only to take the bigger area for in wearing load it also give higher uplift load to resist against the tension we should not provide the same and the same foundation different foundation system same will construction one foundation system is much better i hope i am able to able to say what i little know with my little knowledge i am trying to uh, give you some information regarding this another question another question was there some notable question was question was major notable point to remember under water construction or around river construction the basic hurdle in underwater construction is soil boiling side soil side wall collapse soil saturation liquefaction these are the basic problems soil saturation in case of clay soil soil will be saturated to a high extent it will be behave like fluid all these basic problems these are more or lower more or less more prominent in case of c0 soil in c5 soil these problems may not so serious however circular shape excavation is most preferable with mud water circulation bentonite mud water mud water circulation means in case of underwater underwater construction we should maintain the water level inside the excavation pit and general outside the water level if it is if we can maintain it this problem will be sufficiently minimized and for that purpose we should use mud water circulation during excavation we shall be all this surrounding shall be 
under mud water. The water level both inside and outside to be maintained to avoid sun boiling. If water level is the same outside and inside, then we can resist the sun boiling. And if possible, if possible, in case of square excavation, it will be very difficult. So, normally I did some project in a river valley project where originally it was it was square foundations but later uh, la later on i provided circular foundation but only difference is some amount of concrete is more some amount of concrete shall be more <coughs> Other, it will be very uh, less time consuming and uh, very easy to execution. Steel liner, if we provide for, it shall be more effective for arresting the soil wall collapses. In case of deep foundation like well or files, making an island is more appropriate there is not a single instance of same hurdle everywhere. In river valley also, in no soil, no soil will give you new pro pro different everywhere you will be fighting with different problems. In my life, during the last 53 years, 1968 to today, till now, I am fighting with these problems only. Somewhere it is sand boiling, somewhere it is liquefaction, somewhere it is sidewall collapse, somewhere it is uh, tilting on my foundation, somewhere it is other, lot of problems. Every project site have different problems and we must have to fight with our dedication and our think tank. We should think what is the problem, why it is happening, then only we can calculate the and we can anticipate the arresting process. By books or by s my discussion shall not use. From your own think tank you have to calculate yourself what shall be done to tackle this. So, Uh, in the case of river foundation, under water foundation, the c after complete excavation, 12-20 mm crushed stone layer of 150 mm be provided at the bottom to avoid the worst effect of soil looseness. More important thing is Excavation, cleaning, cronketing, bar lowering, anything and everything should be interrupted and continuous operation. In one operation, to now you have started your excavation, one day or two day, any time how much it is required, to, you must be careful to maintain the water level from outside and inside and it should be mud water circulation and you, you have to complete all construction activities and erupt it single phase. That means morning you have finished, 
वन डे टू डे वट एवर इट मे बी थर्टी सिक्स आवर फोर्टी एट आवर्स लाइक दैट वट मे बी देयर यू हैव टू फिनिश एट अ टाइम इन शिफ्ट ड्यूटी यू हैव टू कम्प्लीट इन देयर वर्क होप आई आई एम वेटिंग टू हेयर फ्रॉम यू whether i am able to uh, able to be useful to you or i shall use less to tell you if you say me frankly i shall be very happy some of my friends ask me to send my worksheets uh, earlier i have i had sent lot of worksheets to lot of friends now some time back due to my laziness or because of my age i am very useless old man now so uh, i'll do it today no i'll do it tomorrow i'll do it tomorrow i'll do it to i am not able to send all the all all worksheets to my beloved friends who had asked me so i shall be very much happy to send it to you and for that i need a cooperation from you what you require please mail me at my mail address jcgogoi@gmail.com in this mail you please send me i ne- i need this this excel sheet this file this file this file what you file you require lot of files are available with me any one you require or you may come to me with a external 1 tb uh, collect my the whole computer itself i do not have any objection one of my beloved friend he asked me send a sample rep- report copy sample report copy uh, uh, it is uh, it cannot be sa- a sample report copy cannot be sent to you normally when we require to send it to some client we what we did we did in the in their their website we upload it because it is uh, beyond the jurisdiction and if we make the part wise say in a investigation report there may be there may be four parts six parts like that so frankly speaking uh, i am usually an old man so i i am not able to make so much of a put for you so uh, that you can advise me how i can send one investigation report say about the uh, because if we are sending it if all the calculation sheet you will be it shall be no use for at all only just sample copy of the report please advise me how can i send this a sample copy of report to you please be all happy please all be healthy please all be blissful and all be contented in our ancient language in our indian language sarve sukhi na bhavantu sarve santu niramaya sarve badhani patsantu ma katsi dukha bhava bhavet thank you all please see whether i am useful or not 
please have a nice day see you again